Harvard University says there are six steps when making rational decisions. I got a teammate going camo and a teammate going sniper. Where should I go? I'm gonna beat you to snipe. No. They're both going left. They're both... Step one to making the right decision is to define your problem. Going no. our right. There's one going left. In your future. Let's watch for this camo. Let's watch for this camo. I'm with you, Dots. Still with you. There's one straight across. I'm stuck in the gunfight, man. Okay, I, I got away somehow. Yeah, I got camo, so I, I got away very lucky. Some jumped me immediately. There's one by our base, like, like our shotgun. Step two, identify all relevant criteria. Man, it's both weak there. They're, they're weak, they're weak, they're weak. I got two. Flag's right there. Now, should I try and push this guy back, stand my ground and get the return, or run away like the trash I am? My problem was well defined. That's why I held my ground. Now, shortly after that, we returned our flag and everything's all in dandy. But now we have two less teammates. That's a problem. And on top of that, I'm not doing anything to identify the relevant criteria. So should I push forward at this guy, drop back and set up for an ambush, or just stay in the same spot? Yeah, one's on our elbow. Two on my mark, yeah, two on me. Yeah, damn it, I think I made the wrong call. My teammates were down, and I didn't identify any relevant criteria, like perhaps the other enemy's locations? Okay, but there's one on our flag somewhere. If there's one on our flag, our problem is defined, and when we spawn, we'll look for our teammates and the enemies because their locations are relevant criteria. But how do we know which criteria is more important? This question is what really sets this game in motion. Jedi, I'm gonna look around. Okay, top camo, camo. Where? There's one top camo. There's one shotgun pushing. This guy's trying to grapple the flag. You have to pull it off the camera. Yeah, you gotta pull off the flag. <laughs> They're going for uh, our flag. They're on our flag. Now we have a decision to make. Should I face the direction he's facing, throw a couple grenades where the enemy will likely be, or just be indecisive and do neither? I got him. Was he alone? No, he's got another guy. No, no, he's, he's one shot. He's one shot. He's one shot behind him. And now I'm just desperate, trying to ask my teammate for help when I should have been the one helping him. Luckily, nice, nice, nice. salty pup, good shit. Oh, wait, you died. Bro, my VR just Shortly after they take our flag, and I really need to get my act together right now because I'm not making very. Yeah, so I have a love-hate relationship with the sniper. It's it's a problem. We don't need to get into it right now. See if I can get to my teammate and get to that son of a bitch who stole our flag, then I. Yeah, so if you didn't figure it out already, step three was weight the criteria. Basically trying to figure out which criteria is most important. And let me tell you, the enemy's location is way more important. Hmm. Team shot flag, team shot flag. Uh, yeah, so this is the part where I say our current plan's not working. That means it's time for step four, generate alternatives. You got it, you got it? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna push their sniper. I'm gonna push their sniper. Did you hear that? Did you hear what I said? Did you? Yeah, so clearly uh, running straight at the flag isn't working, so I'm gonna try my uh, old trusty sniper tactic and run Should into their me? base and try and take them out one by one. You just gotta be careful that you're not spending too much time trying to think of a plan and then actually implementing the plan here. Oh, God. Get wrecked. Yes. Need help? Nope, nope. Don't call for help. You can do this. Actually, no, I probably need some help. And the reason is because their flag is in the middle of the map and I have a power weapon. I can't die here. So tell me, what should I do? Use cover and jiggle peek? Retreat to our side of the map? Or charge blindly with the sniper? Looks like we got that one wrong. Yeah, they're coming our shotgun right now. Bottom middle as well. Did you hear what my teammate just said right they're there? Our okay, they're coming our sniper, I think. Okay, I'm with you, Jedi. That means the enemy is coming from two different directions. I'm gonna watch your crossfire. Yeah, I can let you know. They have multiple alternatives. Lucky for me, my teammates are beasts. I killed the two that are with the flag. God, I suck at long range BR battles. There's one on me by flag. Returning, returning. Hey, go. Score. 
Got there it. There we go. Nicely done, guys. That was close. All right, we got a flag capture. We tied it up. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah. With you, Camo, guys. Camo's, Camo's gonna be up in 15. One dead. Now let's generate some actual alternatives, okay? There, uh, on camo bay, camo bay. If they get oh, this camo, wow, they're afforded the option to play stealthy. If we get the camo, well, then the option is ours. But if you notice, we've all somehow stopped talking about camo. Why? I don't know. We're losing our alternative plans. But it's okay. You know, I'm a, I'm an excellent flag runner. I'm, I'm good with the poles. And what you're about to see right now is indecisiveness in the flesh. See, I throw the flag there thinking it's probably a good idea, but I end up killing my teammate. Sorry, salty pup. I was trying to get my shield back. Oh, that was a nice shot. But now I'm weak again, and this flag's not in our base, and if I get shot one time, I could die. Luckily, my strafe is sick. So should I let my shields recharge like a sane person, go for the flag capture while weak, or start teabagging so fucking fast my game crashes? My game legitimately almost just crashed right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was not me cutting. What step are we on? What step? Step, step five. Step five. Yes. Sorry, I had a little bit, a little bit. To, uh, guys, I'm trying to talk. My ping, my ping got mid. Let me just show you again how being indecisive just leads to death, guys. Yeah, two on our shotgun. Oh, I got three guys on me. Another guy on your elbow, snipe. Okay, so step five is simple. You just want to rate each of your alternative plans based on the relevant criteria. So if the relevant criteria <laughs> is your enemy's location. Oh my god, I can't believe I choked there. Then you're really going to want to take into account the best path to maybe counter their location. Like instead of going directly to them in a three lane map, maybe you set up on the side, okay? Look how I'm on the side of the map here. Oh. I, I'm leaving the side. But that's only because they have our flag and I need to hit this shot. Should I pull the trigger and prevent the capture? Pull the trigger and prevent the capture? Or pull the trigger and prevent the capture? I just shot him in the fucking head, dude. Yeah, so that was bullshit. Let me show you, 343. Let me show you how bullshit that was. This is a frame before I pull the trigger. A frame. Not a second, not an hour, a frame. Yeah, so anyways, we never got camo. They got camo. The guy sucks. I hit him in the back. Yeah, whatever. We got to keep moving because I'm getting a little pissed off. So, um, let's see what we were on. Step five. Oh, damn. That guy got wrecked. So we have a few different alternatives, right? We could like go to the right. Go to the left, maybe approach our enemies from a perpendicular angle, or even better, get camo and maybe not fucking blow it. Luckily, our teammate Jedi is a beast and he comes in to save the day. We're trying to look for another kill here. I throw a grenade because I'm Tom Brady, and then we just got to get this kill. Come on, get it. God, and I ran out of ammo. Okay, so step six is to compute the optimal decision. Jedi and I have them pretty distracted. What does that even mean, Harvard? Like, I'm playing a game. How am I supposed to compute a decision? We'll get to that in a second, though, and that's because they have our flag and we're two teammates down. Should I pick up the plasmas and then kamikaze them? Or maybe keep running forward? Or should I hide in the corner like a little bitch? Yo, nice, so that went well. All right, we're almost done. This is what I like to call the grand finale. Except it's not going to be too much of a finale because there's no fireworks, okay? So our flag is down there in the bottom left. I'm going to take down this trash real quick and then try and return it. But we got to think back to the whole point of this video, which is how to make the right decision. And it involves the f uh, five... Five or six? Five. Five. It's the sixth step is to review all five steps, so that's what we're gonna do. Right after we make this decision, do I back up and line up the easy headshot, go for the easy beat down, or not move at all and take his fists to my face and then whine about it? I'm sorry, what? Okay, so step one was define our problem. What does that mean? It's not just saying guy top middle. That's not defining anything. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to get to it. The problem right here is we need to get camo. I'm on it, I'm on it. So I'm letting my teammate know my intentions. That's more defining than just calling out. I'm 
gonna try and just clear these guys out of our base here. Step two, identify the criteria, which is the criteria, maybe the other people, the opponents, what they're doing. And step three, which is weight the criteria. One size, one size. Figure out which criteria is most important. Like right here, should I leave this guy be and focus on the objective, put a few shots in him and then leave, or don't put any shots on him at all and chase him while the enemy flag carrier makes more progress to capturing our flag. God, I'm so trash sometimes. Like, it blows my mind. You're behind you, man. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna stop that carrier. The important thing there was the objective. So, should I jump up here and there and then repulse him away? Or use the repulsor to pop me up and go for a beatdown? Or quit and just go play Rocket League? See, if I would have just held on to my repulsor and maybe jumped up there, I could have repulsed them back. And then maybe, just maybe, they wouldn't have captured our flag with fucking 30 seconds remaining. It doesn't matter now because, guys, I just I just keep, keep dying. And, I mean, I can't do anything. Step four was generate alternatives. I didn't do that. Step five was figure out which alternative plan is maybe more important based on the criteria, like the enemy's location and their actions. And step six is to compute it. And speaking of, how are you supposed to compute it? I, we never figured that out. I, you know what? Just, just be less indecisive. I think that's probably the lesson here. Defeat.